we're in serious discussions with a multinational um, company. Outside the city council chamber Monday, the president and CEO of an expansive Waltham office park described a potential new multinational tenant that could set up shop on Wyman Street. They are growing. They are going to nearly double in size, so they're going to add jobs. Dussel proposes to renovate an existing Hobbsbrook building to accommodate the tenant, who he described as a well-recognized company. The tenant can't be named yet because negotiations are ongoing and could hinge on approvals from the city council. The first step happened at a public hearing on Monday when Dussel and his attorney Robert Connors aired a proposed zoning change. Is if the city council were to approve those two things tonight, uh, we would come back by, uh, we would come back later on for a uh, uh, special permit from the city council. Dussel said the proposed LEED certified building would cost approximately $150 million to complete. Connors said the three story building would have no effect on surrounding residential developments, but the development could impact traffic on Wyman Street, a concern for Ward 3 Councilor George Darcy. As you know, and I know, that the traffic is very bad on Smith Street and Wyman Street at rush hour. Dussel countered that Hobbsbrook is already working on traffic concerns. We've already, um, uh, in the process of partnering with the city of Waltham to reconstruct Wyman Street. Hobbsbrook has been in Waltham for 60 years and pays $7 million in taxes to the city annually. To support the proposal, a parade of local leaders and nonprofits spoke warmly of Dussel's record as a business leader and philanthropist. His desired out outcome for this rezoning is to continue to be a charitable businessman who brings jobs and tax revenue to the city of Waltham. He is probably the most generous person that I've known in the past 15 years other than perhaps, you know, Lou Nocera. But and Tom Dussel, I can't say enough for them. I represent the Waltham Lions Club was a hundred strong and we all support this, so I hope you pass it. No one spoke in opposition. The zone change proposal was referred to the Council's Ordinances and Rules Committee and the Board of Survey and Planning. Both are expected to take up the matter next month. For the Waltham News Watch, I'm Bill Heatley.